Ba Gua Zhang, or Eight Trigrams Palm, is attributed to its founder, Dong Hai Chuan, who lived in the late Qing Dynasty. From him, the art branched off into various sub-lineages. Characteristically, it features circle walking with continuous movement, with techniques executed while stepping. It features refined body mechanics and practical technique changes. In this primer video, I shall cover further foundational basic skills that one should develop initially. I shall cover their fundamental details and methods as I was taught within my line of Liang style Ba Gua Zhang. In general, the basic methods and practices I shall present here are beneficial to practitioners of all styles of Ba Gua Zhang. Ding Bu Tiao Zhang, or Upward Scooping Palm on the Spot, is a basic exercise which features executing the technique on the spot while simultaneously dropping your weight onto your front leg. This upward scooping and flicking palm technique is included in many Bagua Zhang techniques. This focused practice version will enable you to develop both the whole body mechanics and timing required to execute this technique effectively. The lower body starting posture is the same as that of millstone pushing palm post standing practice and is also similar to that of Xing Yi Chen's San Ti Shi lower body posture. The details pertaining to this were covered in the previous Ba Gua Zhang 10 minute primer. The upper body features the two arms held out ahead in the basic Tui Mo Zhang or millstone pushing palm orientation. This too was covered in a previous Ba Gua Zhang 10 minute primer. Assume this position with the arm and leg on the same side of the body in the lead in an aligned stance or Shun Bu. From this initial position, shift your weight to the rear leg as you raise your center of gravity with the front foot rising slightly. At the same time, withdraw your lead hand down to your hip as you raise and extend the other arm. Next, forcefully scoop the lower arm upward and out ahead in an arcing flicking action as you pull the other arm down to your waist. Drop your weight onto your front foot simultaneously as your scooping palm reaches its target. The palm scoops upwards with a focus of force on the palm heel and the fingers pulled back. The palm heel scoops up to approximately the height of your nose. Ensure you shift your weight predominantly to the rear leg as you raise your center of gravity up and let your front foot naturally follow this action by lifting the heel up and drawing it in slightly. From this, forcefully press off the rear leg as you drop your body mass onto the front foot in a stamping fashion. Ensure that the upward scooping and flicking action is timed precisely with the front foot landing forcefully, fully coordinating the actions of the upper and lower body into a whole body unified issuing of force. The two hands should travel up and down the center line to the flanks of the torso with the elbows drawn in as close to the body as possible. Both elbows should maintain a degree of bend and should not be locked out straight at any time. The scooping arm's elbow should not be pointing out to the side, but rather point directly down as much as possible. The force exerted between the two hands should be equal, creating a force couple. The forceful drawing back of the lower arm should assist the scooping arm to generate and issue power. Coordinate your breathing to exhale as you scoop and issue force and inhale as you withdraw the scooping arm. Regularly practice this on both sides. Ban Ma Bu Shuang An Zhang, or double pressing palms in half horse stance, features the execution of a series of Ba Gua Zhang upper and lower body techniques leading into a double downward pressing and bracing palm in half horse stance. This practice introduces key Ba Gua Zhang techniques that are executed with specific stepping in a coordinated fashion.
The opening sequence features the execution of a chop, a cover, and a pierce into the Lao Sung Tuo Bo posture. Standing in an upright position with your feet next to one another, step back with your left leg as you draw your right arm across your body and raise it up to chop down and forward with a pijang or chopping palm. Continue to shift your weight back as your left arm follows to press and cover down to the front with a gaijang or covering palm. Forcefully press off the rear leg as you step forward with your right leg and execute a chuanjang or piercing palm which travels palm up over the top of the left hand to finish in the Lao Sung Tuo Bo posture. Ensure that the chop, the cover and the pierce are all executed on your center line. The focus of force for the three techniques is the palm edge for the chop, the palm itself for the cover and the fingertips for the pierce. Coordinate the actions of the entire body correctly. From the Lao Sung Tuo Bo posture, shift your weight back as you draw in your lead foot and execute a Yen Jo or elbow cover with the lead forearm across your face. The arm continues traveling down and then slices up and out, leading with the outer edge in a Liao Jiang or slice up palm to shoulder height. As you step ahead with the lead leg executing a Bai Bu or toe out hook step. Continue to step through with your rear leg executing a Kou Bu or toe in hook step and turn your body 180 degrees to the right. At the same time, your rear arm travels up the extended arm executing a Shang Chuan or upward piercing palm. Your focus of attention is now in the opposite direction. From here, your raised arm travels down and across over your head to press to the opposite shoulder executing a Gai Zhang or covering palm. Both arms are now crossed in front of the chest with the palms facing down. Next, forcefully open both arms out to the sides, executing Shuang Anjang or double pressing palms with a down and out power as you step out with your right leg. The leg lands and you drop your weight at the same time as the two palms reach their destination. You finish in Ban Ma Bu or half horse stance. Now shift your weight to the current front leg as you turn to the rear and draw in the rear leg as you once again execute a Yen Jo, now with the other arm. Continue the action to step out with a Bai Bu as you execute a Liao Jiang followed by a Shang Chuan Jiang as you step through with the rear leg executing a Kou Bu to turn once again 180 degrees to the rear. Continue on to execute a Gai Zhang followed by stepping out into Ban Ma Bu as you execute Shuang An Zhang once again. Continue this practice alternating between the left and the right sides. Ensure that the footwork is executed correctly and that the toes are pointing in the correct direction with each toe out and toe in hook step, enabling the body to turn as is required. The footwork should flow and be coordinated with the actions of the upper body. Ensure the double pressing palms are timed with the landing of the front foot when stepping out into the half horse stance. Once settled, the body weight should be shifted slightly more to the rear leg. The focus of force for the double pressing palms is on the palm heels. The huko or tiger's mouth of each hand should be facing one another and ensure that the body is not hunched over but rather that it is centered and generally upright with the shoulders sunk. Continue to practice alternating between the left and the right until the sequence is coordinated and fluid and features whole body power. Ensure each individual technique of the sequence is executed correctly. While deeper details regarding these foundational basic skill practices, their variations and applications should be attained through direct transmission by learning from an authentic teacher. I have presented here fundamental practices within my Liang style Bagua Zhang line. The details covered in this primer video will enable you to begin or correct your practice.